So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to implement the routing for our application. So what I mean to say is on click of department, I want the URL to get changed to something like this department and on click of employee, I want the URL to be slash employee, right? We're going to add that routing in this uh, video. So let's start with So there is one file which uh, got generated while we created the project. So the file is uh, app routing module.ts. So if you remember while creating the project, we were given an option, right? We were given an option whether to, whether do you want to have routing or not? So we chose yes. So when we chose yes, this file gets created, app routing module.ts. When you chose no, it won't get created. So uh, even if you don't, if you if you have chosen no, you can later on create the file. Uh, there's no problem. Just create this file with the same name and have these contents and you should be uh, able to add the routing to your application. So inside routes, we need to specify what are the components to render and or be on for which URL, right? So we'll give, we have two tabs, right? We'll have two URLs, one for employee and one for department. So the first one, let's add path is employee and uh, the component to be rendered is the employee component, right? And another thing that we want to add is the path is department and the component to be rendered on click of or, or, or for this URL is department component. Okay. Now let's go back to app component dot HTML and uh, we'll have the routing in, instead of this uh, you know, navigation and uh, if conditions, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment the entire thing so that uh, if you want to refer later, you can do so. So I'll comment and modify the, I'll copy this and modify it again, right? I'm just commenting because if in order to, if you want to uh, get back and see what, what, uh, I mean, if you want to do it in the other way, so you just you can just copy and paste it. So basically what I'm trying to do here is, uh, so this button should uh, navigate to the URL, right? So we have to give something like router link equal to, so this is department. So we have created the router for department, right? Department and the same thing for employee, we had created a router, which is named as so it will navigate to that URL on click of button employee and uh, yeah, we don't want this click events. So now we are not doing the if conditions and all. And also we don't need this. We have to display whatever the router is rendering, right? So we have to write router outlet and that should work. Let's see if that thing works. So let's click on departments so we can see the URL has changed and we are save and we can see the department details. Let's click on employees. We can see the raw URL has changed and and the page that is displayed is the employees page. 